Welcome back to the secret underground lair. So you can see we now have everything sanded. Well, you can't see, trust me. Everything has been sanded up to 180. The drawers have been put together in a dry fit. I'm very happy with the result of that. So today we assemble our nightstands. That is today's adventure. So to assemble this table, I'm going to start by assembling the two uh, leg structures. Then we'll put in the back pieces and then we'll work on the shelf and uh, top. In between, while these leg structures are being set up, we'll put a glue, we'll glue a drawer together. So let me start with this. Now all the pieces have been, as as I mentioned before, have been labeled so I know exactly where they go. It makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> and the next piece is uh, how do I know where to line these up when they get glued together? Because there is a little bit of movement here. So the technique that I've got, or the way I set this up, is that the bottom edge of this side piece will meet the top edge of this little groove, decorative groove, that we cut in the leg. So I just kind of get those lined up there and the top surface lined up with the top of the leg. That's the alignment that I need. So fairly simple process to get that stuff lined up. Of course I'm going to get out my square to make sure that I get it all. You know, these pieces are square to the legs, that's important. Uh, and then we'll get it, uh, <coughs> we'll be squaring it as we set it in the clamp. I'm just going to use, I'll probably use two clamps on each uh, leg, one here, one here. Um, yeah, and away we go. Saved a bunch of the uh, oak uh, sawdust, very fine sawdust, just for this purpose. Quite a bit of glue oozing out of that joint but I just throw a little bit of that really fine and this is like baking uh, sugar or icing sugar kind of consistency of sawdust this is really really fine stuff Get in there with some fine sandpaper and clean that up. 
Okay, there is our uh, second side piece. So I'm just going to do one table at a time. So uh, to that end then, I'll bring over the drawers and we'll get them glued and clamped together. So I'm just uh, disassembling the dry fit. You see this is a snug but not hammer tight fit, which is what I was going for. So the order of operation will be put those two, glue those two dovetail joints in. The alignment of course is being this surface match, meets up flush with this surface. Once those are in, we'll slip the drawer bottom in and then we'll glue up this top um, finger joint. Finger joint, box joint, I've been calling it all kinds of things so I hope you'll forgive me for being inconsistent there. I think I've even called it a box tail. Yeah, confusing with dovetail, so <laughs> apologies for that. is where the uh, uh, track for the shelf was so we can deal with that and I have just a little bit of glue coming out the bottom on the inside so I'll just take care of that as well a little sawdust treatment okay there's one drawer for expansion in these uh, for this drawer bottom so it can move <clears throat> the expansion is is going to be if there is any in this direction it won't expand much in this direction that's the, uh, going with the grain but against the grain across grain that's where the wood tends to swell so I've got some good room here at least a sixteenth of an inch for that to expand uh, being a very thin piece of wood in relative terms, I wouldn't expect much expansion from that, so we should be fine. Should being the operative word there, right? sitting for a little bit so we can probably try uh, assembling the back on those guys now.
Now, just thinking about the order of operations that I want to do this. I'll have the pieces laying up vertically. And then, <clears throat> so the back is on the table or parallel to the table. Then I can clamp it together and then I'm going to stand the whole thing up and let it set while it's standing up. So this is how it's going to be glued together then clamped and it'll stand the whole thing up. So I'm going to move you back into a better position so you can see what I'm doing here and we'll get on with it. legs angled in a little bit as you can see so I'm just going to put a little spreader bar on the top just to kind of get them where they need to be squeeze out in the back, which is wonderful, I want. That's one of our nightstands uh, assembled. I have to put the top and bottom, uh, put the top on, of course, and get the shelf mounted. Um, there'll be a little bit of uh, the joinery for the shelf I'm not going to put any screws or anything through. What I'll be doing is using my little figure eight clips to mount to the top of the, they'll mount to the underside of the shelf. So I'm going to hold the shelf on. Same thing with the top. There'll be a figure eight clip mounted to the top of, this, of the side rail and then uh, screwed up into the bottom of the shelf. And the reason for that, of course, is to cater for expansion. These are likely to expand and contract a little bit with humidity, moisture, temperature, that kind of thing. And, and as a result, I don't want them fixed onto the top legs. Um, so they, they, need, <clears throat> they need a little bit of room to float. And then of course, uh, drawer slides. So we'll come along. The drawer slides are gonna require a little piece of filler to go in here. Uh, just so that we get clearance to get the door past the leg. But that's coming next. So I'm getting ready to do the door slides and I realized I made one mistake. I forgot to make a cut on the drawer fronts. Now I cut the drawer fronts to be the same width, exactly the same width as the sides of the cabinet. And I made a comment as I was doing that, saying I'll come back and we'll make that adjustment later. Well, I forgot to make that adjustment, so later has come now that the drawers are fully assembled and glued. So it makes it a little bit trickier, but the fortunate thing is this side over here 
that I need to put up against the fence is perfectly flush. That's a nice dovetail joint here in the bottom. So could be a lot worse if I was trying to do it, you know, from this side. So anyway, bottom line is we can make that adjustment. I'll just set up the fence and we'll make four cuts. So we're giving ourselves an eighth of an inch clearance on the uh, top of the drawer. And I've done one other thing, I'll put tape down this side, this is going to be cut, just to, I'm not expecting any tear out, but I thought, well, just to be safe, I'll put that there. And I put tape on the other side, <coughs> just to kind of keep the face from being marred as it goes across the surface of the table. Seem to work out fairly well. So I'll just uh, repeat the process for the other three drawers. Come back when that's done. Well, you'll probably see that happen in, uh, in some time lapse here. Okay, those are cut, so just a little bit more sanding on the top surface there. So I have the uh, cabinet or nightstand sitting on its side, as you can see. And what I'm trying to do now is just figure out where I need um, the bottom drawer slide to be. So let me show you what I've got in here. Drawer slide, of course stack of cards and another little stack of cards and some arbitrary filler material. I'm going to measure that filler material in a minute, but arbitrary at the moment. <clears throat> so I'm going to put the stack of cards on here, stack of cards on here. That's 10 cards giving me a one eighth of an inch. Just going to set that drawer slide in there. Now I'll set the drawer on top of that. And what I'm looking to get is a 1 8 inch gap here and at the bottom. And that gives me, that's what I'm after. That's, that's going to work. So, yeah, yeah obviously I rehearsed that. <laughs> but what that means then is what I need is some filler material that thick. The thickness of that plus this. So we're looking somewhere around a half inch. So I'm going to cut two strips of material that'll go here. The drawer slide will sit on top of that and then I can mount that <coughs> drawer slide onto the drawer itself. So uh, we'll, I'll do that for one, two, three, four pieces of filler material for this unit, four pieces for the other unit. Back in a minute. All right. Uh, off camera, I cut some little strips of wood, just about 7 sixteenths of an inch, that sit in between the side and the drawer slide. And <clears throat> 7 sixteenths appears to be a reasonable, well, it's close, I would say, but I think just a little bit snug. So I'm going to take just a, a little bit off that. So here you can see the strip that we cut and then the drawer slide would sit on top of that. I'm going to be screwing these into the side of the, uh, in, into the sides. I'm not going to be gluing them on. They're going to be screwed in along the considerate part of the drawer slide. So I'll just do a little, a little adjustment on that. And then we'll mount a drawer. All right, I just cut the um, little filler strip down by about a sixteenth of an inch and that's giving me a fit that's just perfect. I'm very very happy with that. So the next uh, trick is finding the way to align the drawer slide with the drawer and the sides. And the way that I'm going to do that fundamentally is make sure that the drawer slide 
is flush with the bottom of the drawer. So this surface of the drawer slide will be flush with this. That means when I put the drawer slide on the side, <coughs> this will be flush with the bottom of the side. So it's just kind of an inbuilt way to align uh, the whole mechanism. So without further ado, I am going to mount a drawer slide. So there's our first drawer mounted. These slides are a little sticky though. I'm going to need to do a little bit of adjusting on it. And it is sitting a little low, uh, so I'm going to adjust that as well. So, the, f the first one is always the hardest, trying to figure out that little template. So raise that up a little bit. Just about an eighth of an inch is all it needs to go. Side to side, I'm happy with that result. And it's reasonably flush. A little bit of an adjustment on that. But overall, yeah, I'm pleased. So, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.